Hi there, I'm Kelly Fox from astrology.tv and I'm going to be talking to you about September and what's in store for September. So we have the dreaded Mercury retrograde this month and the dates for that is uh, Mercury turns retrograde on September 10th and it will turn direct again at the beginning of October on the 2nd. Now, Mercury turns retrograde at 8 degrees Libra, and it turns direct at 24 degrees Virgo. So what does that mean? <laughs> so Mercury retrograde is all about miscommunication, misunderstanding. It's not a great time to travel or plan any sort of travel by computer equipment. Uh, Mercury is also connected to commerce, so buying and selling uh, could be problematic during this time as well. Uh, and because it turns retrograde in Libra, if you're a cardinal sign, that's Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn, this could prove to be problematic for you, um, you know, when, when it comes to communication or feeling understood or misunderstood is more likely the case. Uh, and then when it moves uh, retrograde back into Virgo on September 23rd, you know, right after the equinox, uh, if you are born at the end of Virgo or the mutable signs, uh, born at the end of Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius or Pisces, uh, you know, the end of September, early October could be problematic as well when it comes to communication. Um, but overall, you know, Mercury turns retrograde three to four times per year, and it is always about misunderstanding or miscommunication. Some Mercury retrogrades, we might think, oh, well, that was no big deal, uh, and others might be very challenging. It really just does depend on uh, how the Mercury retrograde affects your natal birth chart. Oh, and if you don't know your natal birth chart, you'd like to uh, get a free uh, birth chart, be sure to visit chart, C-H-A-R-T, chart.astrology.tv. And so uh, also in September, we've got, as we always do, a new moon and a full moon. The full moon uh, is happening on the 10th of September at 17 degrees Pisces. So what that means is uh, things might be confusing or, you know, things slow down, detailed details might be challenging at this time. The best use of this full moon in Pisces is to, uh, you know, have care and compassion for others. Know that we are connected to others. You know, we are not, we are not, uh, our decisions affect other people, I guess is what I'm trying to say here. I'm just seeing what else this um, full moon in Pisces uh, is connecting into. Uh, full moon in Pisces you know it's there's a wide conjunction excuse me a wide opposition to Venus planet of love so when it comes to love and money there could be some confusion there could be you know partners wanting different things uh, from the relationship we also have anger with the uh, square to Mars from this full moon in Pisces so there could be a lot of friction and tension and upset we, um, you know, sarcasm, using our words to hurt others. We need to be really careful about that, uh, that we're not attacking others. Others might feel a bit wishy-washy around this full moon on the 10th. Um, or, you know, there could be some issues there with drugs or alcohol. So just be very careful, um, you know, around the time of the full moon on September 10th, especially if you're a mutable sign. And that's uh, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius or Pisces, um, you know, and boundaries. You know, I think boundaries is probably a really good keyword uh, to keep in mind for this full moon in Pisces is to have boundaries. Now, the good thing is there could be some unexpected opportunities that are coming about during this full moon um, to do with finances, perhaps where we, we can have two feet on the ground when we make important financial decisions. Also in September, we've got uh, a new moon in Libra. And so this is fabulous if you're single and looking 
Uh, it's a great time for a to start a relationship. And it doesn't even mean romantically. It could also mean uh, business connections as well. So this new moon in Libra is at 25 degrees. I'm just looking to see uh, what it ties into, which are the planets and, uh, you know, 25 degrees Libra. It's forming a trine to Saturn. That's really good. So the new moon trine Saturn, uh, which means taking care of responsibilities uh, and stepping up to take care of our responsibilities actually uh, goes a lot smoother than what it would usually. Uh, so make the most of that. Uh, the problem is, though, um, some challenges might feel overwhelming because the new moon forms a square, a challenging square angle to Pluto, planet of change and transformation. If you're a cardinal sign, Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn, new directions, new beginnings could feel challenging or overwhelming. Other people might, might feel like they're in control, but the more that you sort of let go and just let the universe guide and direct you uh, the better off you may be looking to see what planets are changing signs in uh, September we've got love planet Venus moving into Virgo on the 5th uh, so love takes a practical approach rather than just wearing your heart on our sleeve so that's really about you know the month of September when it comes to love and money it's about we want to be of service to the people that we love. We want to take care of things. You know, the small things matter. So that's going to be, um, you know, the focus when it comes to matters of the heart. But also, um, you know, sometimes we might be looking for perfection where it doesn't exist. Sometimes good enough is good enough when it comes to relationships. Uh, and let's not have... Um, you know, over the top or our, our expectations be too high of others, especially those that uh, we're closest to. We also have the equinox this month that's coming about on the 22nd uh, and, or the 23rd, depending on where you are in the world. So that's when the, uh, that's when night and day are of, are of equal length. Uh, so that's the equinox. And that coincides with the sun moving into Libra. So it will all it will be all about relationships and partnerships, not just romantic, but uh, business as well. And then uh, we have Venus at the end of the month on the 29th moving into Libra. So Venus uh, rules Libra. So Venus, when it comes to love and money, will be very happy coupled up with Libra. Uh, and that is September 29th all the way through. Uh, looks like October 23rd. So overall, that's the overview for September. Uh, we start to move into more of a relationship mindset. There may be some challenges with that. Um, you know, uh, we some of us might feel like, um, you know, others are in control. Uh, but if you want to know more detail about specifically what's in store for your zodiac sign this month, be sure to visit astrology.tv slash horoscope slash monthly. And for your weekly horoscope, visit astrology.tv slash horoscope slash weekly. And uh, be sure to sign up to one of my free horoscope newsletters. That's astrology.tv slash newsletter, where you can get your horoscope delivered every day, every week, or every month straight to your inbox. So that's it from me. I'm Kelly Fox from astrology.tv. Thanks for tuning in and be sure to uh, go to astrology.tv for a free birth chart, uh, which is astrology.tv, excuse me, chart.astrology.tv and also sign up for a free newsletter.